guys back out in the woods again just another short video on water so safe water in a survival situation why do we need water okay well our bodies are, are roughly made up of 75 percent water okay every single cell in our body needs water to work okay helps our brains function helps uh, when we breathe okay we let out um, water vapor when we breathe okay it lubricates our joints uh, it helps digest food every single cell in our body needs it it goes on and on and on okay so that is so important why we need it okay we need to take on at least three liters of water a day in a normal condition in normal conditions okay that is not a survival situation so normal conditions at home not doing much three liters of water a day at least okay and that means we're losing at least three liters of water a day okay each one of these bottles represents obviously a liter of water so that is how much fluid that we lose a day so we lose that through okay breathing we lose roughly 700 mils of water a day just through breathing just the water vapor as i'm talking now i'm losing water vapor i'm losing fluid from my breath okay sweat okay and this is in normal conditions so not really doing anything at least 200 mils that is not doing anything obviously when you start to exercise or outdoors out in the great outdoors we're going to start losing a lot more sweat feces so we're going to lose about 100 mils uh, in our feces every day okay so if you come down with sickness or diarrhea especially in a survival situation that is going to increase dramat dramatically okay so you're going to lose a lot more through feces then we go on to urine okay urine we're going to lose about a liter and a half a day of, of urine okay that's if we're drinking normally um, but our urine should be clear copious and odorless as well a light straw color is perfect okay but if we're drinking enough fluid little and often uh, then we will be losing at least a liter and a half okay of a uh, fluid through urine a day so that is so important why we need it okay little and often again uh, so our bodies can only take on about 250 mils of water every 15 minutes any more than that and it's just going to be flushed out in our system okay it's going to be no good so we're just going to open them floodgates it's going to come out in urine and we're not going to be getting the full goodness of that water as well we're talking about water as well not coffee or tea or alcohol okay they are diuretics they make us urinate make us uh, make our bodies start to, to lose water through urination and we're not getting the full hydration that we need okay so we that's why we need to take on at least three liters of water a day in normal conditions if we're out in the great outdoors that's going to increase so we're going to need to increase that but remember little and often so that we don't lose it um, without our bodies processing it in a good way okay so many different ways of finding water or keeping water in our bodies first then so try not to talk okay in a survival situation try to keep talking to a minimum so you're not losing it through the moisture in your breath try sucking on a small pebble a small smooth pebble uh, that increases saliva um, and then makes your body feel that you are becoming hydrated by increasing uh, saliva and then swallowing that making you feel like you're taking on fluid no smoking no drinking alcohol if you've got it um, save that um, no eating or, or reduce your eating obviously our bodies need water to digest our food so no eating if we have that just ration that okay and then we would go on to looking at other ways of finding finding a water source because in the end we're going to need to search for a water source uh, we'll cover that in another video guys just a short one hope that helps uh, if you do like guys please like comment and subscribe uh, thanks for the follows guys cheers